that why you went into music? No, of course, yes, you have the passion, but also you were looking for an avenue to sort of ease the burden on your family and take over? That wasn't the plan. That wasn't the plan? At all. I, didn't, I, didn't, I mean, I had no idea I would become me. I just had that dream that I would be rich one day. Okay. I knew that I would be rich. Even age 17, I knew I, I was going At to be rich. At age 17, you knew? Yeah, I knew. How it. did you know? Because... Because of the things I was doing at, the, at that young age. What were you doing? I, you know, in, back in the street, I mean, I had musicians, big ones, come recording me. I was recording Luther. Oh, at yes. age 17? Yeah, when no one knew me. I was, at age 17, I was recording Luther. Uh -huh. I was producing and writing for some gospel artists. Okay. You, you know School for Nasi? Nasi, yes, 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 that group, yes. I was working with some of them already at age 17. How did you, how did you find them? So this, this thing that I'm doing, I started, I started doing this thing when I was a kid. Wow. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but what I'm trying to understand, and I'm trying to build the story. So yeah. at age 17, you were already working with them as what, a producer? Yeah. Where did you get the equipment to work as a producer at age 17? And okay. how did they find you? So, so I started my studio in my mom's kitchen. Yeah, so she had to move from the kitchen and, and cook outside. You kicked your mom out of the kitchen to produce yeah, music. Yeah, my mom loved me that much. So if I need a kitchen, take it. Yeah. So she had to start cooking outside. Then I'd start using the kitchen as a studio. So I wake up very early in the morning, and there's this container that brings foreign goods. Mm -hmm. I said, your mom pay or honor. Yeah. It's, 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 quite, it's quite cheap. Yeah. So I couldn't have all these big speakers. So I saved to get some amplifiers and added some here, here, and there, here, and I created a small studio with that Etikopo yeah. computer, because yeah. that's all I had. Yeah. And people started coming in, and I did something for some woman, some mm -hmm. where she's a gospel artist, she played it for them to listen. And I'm like, who, who made this? You know, some small boy view. Mm -hmm. And they, I mean, one of them came over, we had a conversation, and we started working. And it opened other doors for me. Yeah. And I stand, one day, one of the guys I produced for brought Luther to the studio. Oh, wow. For a feature. Okay. He charged, he took the money, but I was so happy to see Luther. I was like, ah, I get more beats than mm -hmm. things. So if, if you. So I played, we, we, and I, 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 I actually made a freestyle over there. I was like, yeah, you got talent, too. Why, why you know they do music? Mm -hmm. I did I I work on myself, you understand? That was before Hitmaker. Okay. So after that conversation with Luta, fast forward, I was there one time and my mom was like, mm. That was a year before. Okay. So I followed a friend that I was recording in my studio there. He's called Gunshot. Okay. He looks like Shatawaide like ah. that. He's, oh, I remember him. Did he make it into the competition? He made it into I the competition. I remember him, yes. So do you know when he was in the competition, I was still producing him. Oh. So I followed him once because Richie was his... his um, you see, where they, they, they appoint musicians to one producer yes. and all. So they appointed him to Richie Mensah. And I followed him once to Lynx Entertainment. Okay. Yes, that's when I first saw Richie. So <sighs> what happened was I had Ganshaw's song written. I've already written everything, produced the beat. Mm -hmm. All Richie had to do is touch it and he'll go and perform it at Hit Maker. Yeah. So when Richie was working on it, and he said, oh, who is this one? Mm -hmm. And Ganshaw said, oh, this be my producer. Mm. And he said, oh, since you produce it, come and sit down and work on it. Yeah. And you did. And I did it. And Richie was like, what's yeah. your name? I'm like, oh, I'm Eugene Marvel. Oh, those days you used to call yourself. Yeah, I'm Eugene Marvel. And he said, why didn't you try Hitmaker? Because you're good. Mm -hmm. like, I'm, I'm waiting for the right time. Blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. The next year, I took his advice. I tried. Lo and behold, I got there. It was Richie, Kewa, Magnum judging me. Yeah. So already I have a pass on Richie. Uh huh. So which was like, oh, I knew. And Kiwa was like, oh, he, I think he's good. But Magnum was the issue. He was hard on you. And Magnum didn't like me at all. Oh, why? What was I his reason? I remember vividly. He was like, I mean, I don't think he's that good. I don't oh. Think he's that good. Eventually, did you get to speak to Magnum to ask him why he didn't think you were good enough? No, no, no. The last You've time. You never asked him. The last time I was, I was, uh, we, me and Ma Magne, Magnum had a conversation was, I, had, I mean, he sent a song to me for uh -huh. a feature. Look at that. Look at how God works. He sent a song to you for a feature. Yeah. This was after you had finished Hitmaker, you had blown yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Angela blowing everywhere. Did you ask but him that? No, 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 no. You should have asked him. I mean, it's, it's dead and gone. He never also talked about it? I'm, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not sure he remembers that that's the guy. 
Oh, how? He I will. I don't think so. Trust me. Really? I don't think so. I was, I was like literally a nobody, so. How do some of these things make you feel now that you look back and realize that was my shot at stardom? And just maybe if I had not made it into the competition, just maybe, I wouldn't be the Kwame Eugene I am today. Actually, I knew I'll be, I'll be here today. Mm, regardless. Regardless. Yeah. 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 I think I, I think Richie told me that some time ago. Mm. That you're, you're that talented. If Links didn't sign you, cry, you could have made it. Mm. He told me he told me that some time ago. But God has to use someone to lift you up. Yeah. And I think they served as an avenue for me to get here today. And here you are. Yeah, I'm here. 